Is Boris Johnson going to sell Trump our NHS? The Labour Party say he will. Johnson's trade deal with the USA will result in a demand by American companies for access to what they term the British health market. The Tories deny it. The NHS is not for sale. It is not for sale. But what's the truth? Let's take a little deep dive. The reason Donald Trump might have influence over our National Health Service is because of the type of Brexit the Tories are proposing. Boris Johnson's Brexit would take us out of the EU customs union, meaning trade would be harder with our European neighbours, but that we could sign free trade deals with countries elsewhere. Of these potential agreements, the Tories' priority is an ambitious trade deal with the United States. We're going to, we're going to do a fantastic deal once we clear up some of the, the obstacles in our path. As far as UK and the United States, we're working on a very big trade deal, and I think it's going to work out very well. So thank you very much. See you later. This worries campaigners because modern trade deals aren't just about reducing tariffs between countries, they are increasingly about opening up protected markets to competition so that foreign firms can increase their profits. In recent US trade deals, such as ones with Canada and South Korea, this has meant forcing countries to open up their healthcare systems to US businesses. And now Trump has his eyes on our NHS. Look, I think everything with a trade deal is on the table. When, you, when you're dealing in trade, everything's on the table. So NHS or anything else, or a lot, a lot more than that, but everything will be on the table, absolutely. So what could be the consequences of a US trade deal on our health? Yes! One possibility is that the UK agrees our NHS, including its hospitals and GP services, are literally sold to US firms. This would be attractive to US businesses. Healthcare providers and insurance companies make billions from America's private healthcare system, and they would jump at the chance to do the same here. However, a less extreme and probably more likely outcome is that the Americans don't buy the NHS wholesale, but rather undermine some of the power and protections that it currently enjoys. This principally relates to drug pricing. The NHS can currently secure essential drugs at relatively low prices. This is because of the purchasing power of our National Health Service. If the NHS doesn't buy a drug, it won't get sold in the UK. So they have the power to bargain down prices. This doesn't happen in the US. There, insurance companies and hospitals compete with each other to provide the latest treatments. This gives pharmaceutical firms the power to set high prices. The result of this is that Americans pay, on average, around 2.5 times the price we pay in the UK for essential medication. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! This is something that's made Donald Trump kind of pissed. This is a total ripoff and we are ending it. As a result, making the NHS pay high market prices for drugs is one of the core aims of American trade negotiators. And if they get their way, we could end up spending an extra 500 million pounds a week. <laughs> Stick that on the side of a bus. Oh! Utter, very rude for members, utter. But you ask, couldn't the UK take the advice of my year nine PSHG teacher and when they ask us to open up drug markets, I know. Well, that's the argument currently being made by Tory ministers. But there are two problems with this. One, this isn't a government known for its honesty. And in fact, we already know that British trade negotiators have had multiple secret meetings with American drug firms. And drug pricing has been brought up in six separate meetings between UK civil servants and their American counterparts. Secondly, even if our government did want drug pricing off the table, they may not have a choice. As trade expert Tahir Armin makes clear, Britain will enter trade negotiations as the weaker partner. The UK, in a Brexit situation, is going to be the weaker negotiating party. And if we take into account how the US has negotiated similar agreements with other countries, they have inevitably got what they wanted. When it comes to a choice between protecting our NHS or securing profitable US markets for his pals in the city, what decision do you think this guy is going to make? <laughs>